Good afternoon. Actually, good evening now. Um, welcome to my daily broadcast. Yes, doing it every day, despite what time of the night it might be when I get home to do this. Um, and yes, home after five days in the hotel. Nice to get back home again. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, let me introduce myself and what I'm about and what this is for. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. Just had a brain fart for a second. Let me get back on track. Um, every day I do these talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today is no different. And in fact, today's, because I'm doing these every day, is number 327. <laughs> these numbers are getting insane. And today's topic is um, embodying all the qualities of a fully expressed relationship. Oh, that's what I think I put the title as. And the reason I want to talk about this is because for some of you out there, you're holding out. You're waiting. You're praying for, thanks for the hearts and the love, I appreciate that. Hi Claire, nice to see you in my broadcast for a second or two. Um, the reason I talk about this is because for people in relationships, or I should say people who want relationships, speak to those people who are single, you know, my audience, my clients, oftentimes there's a separation between being single and wanting a relationship and being in one. Well, there is obviously separation because you're single then you're in a relationship. But what I want to speak to though is the lack of preparation, I'll put it that way and I'm being nice. Um, some people seem to hold off all their ability to love, enjoy life, feel the beauty, see the beauty, express themselves until they're in love. It's kind of like the conditional experience that when they're in love, then the whole world looks different and beautiful. My feeling is, why wait? <laughs> Simply put. Because, first of all, if you're not in a relationship all the time, which some people are not, then you may be finding yourself all that time between relationships, not enjoying the beauty and the love of life, and you're not sort of feeling desperate or despaired or wishing for longing for true love and all that sort of stuff. The second part, which is more important in some ways, is if you're actually single and wanting a relationship, it actually will increase the odds of you attracting one when you start acting as if, in the sense, now I've got to be careful I say this, not acting as if you're in a relationship, but embodying the qualities of being in a full relationship. What I mean by that is to be in a place of loving with yourself, with the world. Being in a place of appreciation with yourself and the world. Being in a place, being in a space or a place or an embodiment of, of joy, of love, of celebration, of enjoyment, of sensitivity, on sensuality, intimacy, with the world around you, you can do this. And by doing something like that, what you'll discover for yourself, first of all, is a capacity you had inside yourself to enjoy life to a whole other level. And secondly, you start becoming magnetic to what you want in a relationship. Yes, you become a magnet. How do you become a magnet? Yes, not, pole, not, not north and south poles, but masculine, feminine, energetics. And so when you actually become attractive to what you want, I should say when you start becoming, embodying the experience of what it would be like to be in a relationship, you actually start attracting that for yourself. And it sounds kind of simple in a way, and it is, but some people don't do it. So here's what I'm suggesting. And I'm keeping this brief because I've actually just got home and haven't even unpacked yet, but I want to do this broadcast to get it out so I keep my daily commitment. And so this one is one of those quick daily broadcasts. If you want to have an amazing relationship and you're single right now, there are many things that I recommend you do, including working with me, of course, and my online programs. And there are plenty of programs out that you can use. But one of the things that a lot of programs don't teach you and don't share, mine does and I do, is how to prepare yourself in a perfect, in a, um, profoundly powerful way to be ready for a relationship. A lot of that, as I talked about before in other broadcasts, is you've got to clear the debris from the past. And I use debris loosely, but the idea about being in past relationships, uh, I should say um, grieving from past relationships, requires some completions to get, get clear. The other part, though, which I've talked about less often, is about preparing for a relationship to attract what you really want. And part of that attraction process, again, the magnet analogy is to be the place where relationship and love abides. That sounds very metaphysical, I know. But I want to make sure you get this in a different way, which is, and it's not acting as if, because I'm realizing that's an that's a overused term. What I am speaking about is how you can be in a place where your um, energy is embodying the experience of relationships so you can be attractive to receive it. I was co-facilitating a workshop a couple of weeks ago 
two, yeah, two weeks, a couple of weeks ago, about we were talking about organic relationship, organic romance, excuse me, and it was definitely something where that context about how you can be in the loving space anyway, like why wait for the person to show up when you can be enjoying the joys and light and love and beauty and all that stuff of life now when you're single. So. I was going to cut to the homework. I'll give you a homework assignment right now. I'll tell you again at the end, but I'll give you a assignment now, which is this. If you're single and looking for love, your homework assignment is to treat yourself as you would if you were already in a relationship. To pamper yourself, love yourself, do things that are nice for yourself. Take yourself out for breakfast or for lunch or for coffee. But take yourself out as if you're taking yourself out on a date or taking someone else out for a date for that matter. Experience the feelings of romance of joy of exuberance of relationship of, ro of love and all these different qualities when you're single because first of all it's good practice <laughs> which is true as well and secondly again you feel differently inside yourself and thirdly become attractive to what you want and if you want a relationship it's one of the best ways to get it so that sh i just gave the homework assignment and did it out of order i'm not sure i need to tell you much more than this it really does work and the good thing is it doesn't cost you anything unless you're going out for dinner or something like that but the truth is your energy relationship with yourself becomes a um, divining rod, um, as a magnet, as I called it, to attract what you really want. For ladies especially, ladies, your natural gift is to attract what you want. Us men are more about the pursuers and chasers to seek out what we want. But you ladies, if you're chasing, you're doing it wrong, first of all. And that's another conversation I'll get into with you if you want to talk about that. But secondly, when you get clear about what you want, it isn't about you out there seeking. You actually become the receptive energy to pull it in. And you have the power to attract what you really want. So wouldn't it be good to actually set up what you want the right way? Hmm, there's an idea. I actually have an online program called Attract the Man You Want that does just that. If you want to find out more about that, you can reach out to me. I'll tell you about it. But it's true that you can attract the man you want when you actually create the right state and energetic field to draw in the man you want. I think I'm going to park it right there. I was going to have some more stuff to say, but I'm, realizing that I'm just going around in circles telling the same thing, which is become what you want. That sounds really strange and very historic, kind of law of attraction stuff. But truly, when you are in a place of self-care, self-love, self-appreciation, you become more attractive. It's a physical fact, or a, it's a scientific fact, something like that. Um, if you have questions about this stuff, you want to get some help. I do offer a discovery session called my Complimentary Clarity Conversation. It's a gift for me to you. It's, it's, a, it's a freebie. If you want that, you go to my website and check out, um, go to the Let's Chat button on my website, on the navigation bar, rather, on barryselby.com, and we can talk. 30-minute conversation, my gift to you. You get my time and guidance and assistance for free. Can't pass that one up, can you? Um, thanks a lot, Jermaine. Nice to see you in here. Um, if you want to see my other broadcasts, I've done a bunch of these. It's number 327 every day. You can find them on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, and also on my YouTube channel, because they end up over there as well which is um, Barry Selby is the, is the um, user handle and Message for the Masculine is the playlist. They also go on my website, but that's the page you get really loaded down, so I'm not recommending you go there too often. But having said that, if you have any questions about this, com this particular conversation, please put them below. And if you're just joining me, please watch it again and get the full details. And secondly, if you want to get some help, reach out to me and you have your homework assignment. With that, I wish you a good evening. I'm going to sign off because I've got unpacking to do still as you go back from the event. And... Uh, you're welcome, Jermaine. I hope this is of value to you. Um, and by the way, most of this was sponsored towards the women, but to the men as well. So hopefully you got some value from this. Hey, Foxy. I'll see you in my broadcast. We've got to catch up on coffee sometime soon. Yeah. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you again another time. And take care of yourselves. See you later. Bye. <laughs>